Hi everybody, my name is Andrew Sui, and I'm on the product marketing team here at Cyber Reason. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing how Cyber Reason's managed detection and response will help organizations reduce the time to remediation. As security practitioners and organizations, we have a few common goals in mind. We wanna be able to detect threats faster. We wanna be able to aggregate those threats, put a story together, put the puzzle pieces together and understand what is happening. We want to be able to triage faster and remediate those threats faster in order to prevent a breach. Now, that's easier said than done. How do you get there when organizations of all shapes and sizes have a few common hurdles that they need to cover? First, organizations are faced with hiring, training, and maintaining a security team. That is difficult to do, especially when there's a skills gap shortage out there and organizations need to secure your networks around the clock. Second, we need to be able to detect, triage, and prioritize every single alert. It's not enough just to detect them, but you need to understand how alerts got in, how malicious operations got in, where they're going, and what they're going after. Fortunately, CyberReason MDR does just that. CyberReason MDR proactively hunts, detects, triages, and remediates threats across an organization's entire network. We have security operations centers, also known as SOCs, located around the globe. We ensure our customers are secured and covered every minute of every day. We do that with three main pillars, our people, process, and technology. Now I understand that that's very common nomenclature throughout the industry, but it rings true for cyber reason. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how and why we lean on these three pillars. The first of these three pillars are our elite threat hunters located in our socks around the world. We have our customers secure every minute of every day, and we are the ones working nights, holidays, and weekends, so you don't have to. Next, we have our Cyber Reason Defense Platform. This is the engine that is paired with our SOC and our elite threat hunters. This is the engine that drives our malops, that does the aggregation, that does the storytelling, and it gives you that full visibility and context mapped completely to the MITRE ATT&CK framework so you as an organization can understand how an attack got in, where it's going, where it's been, and what it could possibly be going after next. Finally, the other pillar, the last one here that I am most excited to share about is our Malop Severity Score and Extended Response Capabilities. This is a process unique to Cyber Reason. This is proprietary and something that nobody else in the industry can offer. What these two core capabilities do are they enable us to claim faster times to triage and faster times to remediation? I'm gonna talk a little bit more about these on the next couple slides. So let's start with our MALOP severity score. This is a proprietary triaging tool that we use to understand the severity of every single malicious operation or MALOP that we identify in your network. This is comprised of three different components. First is our behavioral score. This is where we align every malicious operation or malop to the MITRE ATT&CK framework. We get the visibility and context as to what is happening within the network, how it got in, where it's going, where it's been, and then we're able to do expert analysis. We do actor attribution. We look at what information is being impacted. We look at TTPs. And finally, the third piece of this is the customer criticality or endpoint criticality, if you will. Here we look at what actual machines are being impacted. And we look at, let's say, if a CEO or an executive's laptop has been, has been compromised, malware has been found, that's obviously going to be more, deemed more critical than we'll call it a, a demo laptop used in the field. We take those three things, the behavioral score, the expert analysis, and customer criticality, and we put together what we call our malop severity score. This helps our team and our managed detection and response begin remediation instantly. What that does and what we look at next is whether or not a malicious operation has been deemed critical. If that MALOP severity score comes back and we identify a critical MALOP, extended response kicks in. Extended response is an automated process that automatically suspends infected hosts, isolates them from the network and makes sure that we do not have any more lateral movement. We're able to do this within 30 minutes of detecting that MALOP. So to bring this together, we have our MALOP severity score and our extended response capabilities, and we're able to deliver three critical outcomes. 
these outcomes were what we call 1, 5, 30. We're able to detect a malop in one minute, triage it within five minutes, and remediate it within 30 minutes. When speed and efficacy are critical, when we know how fast things move laterally within your network, being able to reduce as much time to remediation as possible is paramount when trying to prevent a breach. So what does that look like? That sounds great, but let me show you an example of that in real life. Here on the screen, you see a very common piece of malware that we've seen and known as Emotet. At the top of the dial, you see at 0.00, .00 the malop was executed within the environment. At one minute, the product detected the malop, and at two minutes and five seconds, our global SOC was looking at it. That's where the expert analysis piece of the triage is coming in. At two minutes and 23 seconds, our malop severity score is already assigned. We've detected it, we've looked at the behavior, we've got the context, we've got the visibility. Our experts have done actor attribution and we understand what is being impacted. Now deemed critical, at two minutes and 37 seconds, just 14 seconds later, our extended response actions took place. That minute, within two minutes and 37 seconds, we have been able to identify a malicious operation, understand what it's doing, and isolate the infected machine so it doesn't spread further. At two minutes and 55 seconds, we pick up the phone, we call the customer and let you know that you have a malicious operation. But not only are we calling to let you know that we've found something, we're calling to let you know that we've found it, isolated it, and begun remediation already. And that all takes place within three minutes. That's great, right? It sounds awesome. We're able to detect triage and remediate quickly. But how do I bring this back to my team, my colleagues, my executive board, and how do I show them the immediate ROI? Well, first, we're addressing the skills gap. I started off the presentation talking about the challenges that organizations face when trying to hire, train, and maintain a security team. Our security operations team, our managed detection and response, our threat hunters, we're able to help augment your existing security teams working with you and for you to stop the threats. We work with you 24 by 7 by 365. Those nights, those holidays, those weekends, the times that are hard to staff, that cost organizations hundreds of thousands of dollars, we're able to do that on your behalf. We're able to also eliminate the arduous task of doing alert triage and prioritization. We eliminate alert fatigue. We want to be able to contextualize and put all the puzzle pieces together of what the alerts mean, what they're doing, and give you that malicious operation, that malop, give you that visibility at your fingertips. That means that you're able to streamline your operations, have time back in the day to focus on other priorities, and make sure that your team is having the most impact possible on your day-to-day -day schedules. Another way that Cyber Reason is helping you become more effective and more efficient when reducing the time for remediation is by the introduction of our Cyber Reason mobile application. This mobile app allows you to log in to your Cyber Reason UI and get a quick and detailed snapshot of how many malops are there, what alerts have gotten in, what prioritization has taken place, and you can also approve or deny isolation host requests there from your phone. You're able to get that snapshot and detailed view of your current network health from any minute of any day from anywhere in the world. This is a way for you to communicate with our SOCs and download and ingest reports and data that help you become more effective in your day-to-day -day security operations. That is the end of my presentation. I want to thank you all for your time today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at Cyber Reason, and we look forward to speaking with you in the future.